Hey, good morning. This is Russ Telmo at Defenders Wildlife, Rockies and Plains region. Um, I'm based out of our Missoula field office, and uh, today uh, it is, uh, it's February in Montana, which means it is calving season for many of the local ranchers here in our state. And uh, today, heading out into the field to go meet up with our partners from uh, Wildlife Services, Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, uh, and the Blackfoot Challenge, as well as the, uh, uh, the livestock producers here in the Blackfoot Valley and uh, we will be installing a turbo flattery around their calving pasture. A great deal of Defenders of Wildlife's coexistence work um, involves working on private lands, working with livestock producers on working lands on these ranches. And the reason for that is those private lands make up a great deal of wildlife habitat and is the place where humans and wildlife share the landscape. It is also a place where uh, conflicts can occur and is where we focus a lot of our effort to prevent those conflicts from happening. We found that uh, electric fencing uh, for grizzly bears and sometimes for wolves as well, um, as well as turbo flattery for wolves are great tools to um, implement on the landscape and help uh, really prevent a lot of the conflicts that are occurring between, particularly between uh, carnivores and livestock. Turbo flattery is a fascinating tool. It is a single strand of braided poly wire with um, metal wires woven through it that can conduct electricity and it is charged from a, um, a fence energizer so it carries current through it. Um, in addition to that it has flagging that is uh, between 10 and 20 inches long uh, spaced a couple feet apart from one another all the way down the line and it just dangles from that poly wire that poly braid and flaps in the wind and you might be thinking well what, what does that do what it does is that it relies on the innate fear in wolves of novel stimulus. So one day it's not there, the next there are these flags surrounding the entire property flapping in the wind. Uh, but it is also why it can only be used for a certain period of time, that two to three month window, um, that it is remains effective before they get bold enough to uh, pass underneath it or try to go through it. First you walk it out, then you walk it back, and you start knocking in posts. Wrapping up another great day in the field here in Western Montana. Uh, we uh, managed to get up about two and a half miles of flattery around this ranch up in the Blackfoot Valley here and um, it went pretty smooth. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Mm -hmm.